Cheers. Yo, to be honest, I don't know what to say except for what a fucking wake up call. And a wake up call because we've realised, like, unequivocally that racism, xenophobia, and let's be clear, Islamophobia as well, has a lot of power in this country. Power over narratives, uh, power over minds, and a power that maybe we were too complacent about up until now. But this is our fucking wake up call, trust me. We can no longer be shy, scared, or complacent when arguing about no borders. Britain doesn't recognize borders, yeah? When they're going looking for spices or gold or black and brown bodies to oppress. It cares about borders when we want to move, when we want to make a living. And that's how you know borders are political. And borders are political and only serve the political elite. This referendum result only serves the political elite. So in that context, we have to say no borders. No borders unequivocally. No deportations. No to detention. And absolutely no to migrants not being able to stay in this country who are already here and that's a demand that we can raise concretely in our workplaces and our campaigns immediately but our movement also has to say no to sexism because migrant women migrant women and women of color are the first to face violence on the streets and violence by the state and violence by racists our movement must be queer we must say full asylum. We must demand full asylum for all of those fleeing homophobic and transphobic violence. And fundamentally, our movement must be working class. Let's be clear about this election result. It's both a combination of racism, xenophobia, and Islamophobia, and the absolute decimation over decades of working class communities. Our housing, our jobs, our community centers, our lives, our wages, our trade unions, all of it. We've got to build on an intersectional front and recognize every single one of us here matters. Our lives matter. Migrant lives matter. Black lives matter. And that has to be central to our movement. So on that note, I'm going to end with a mic check from a famous black woman called Asaya Shakur. It is our duty to fight for our freedom. It is our duty to win. It is our duty to win. We must love and support one another. We must love and support one another. We have nothing to lose.